in continuation of my Sheikh Zarah video, now let's talk about how Israel is currently shooting and violently attacking Palestinian worshippers in Al-Aqsa Mosque. Here are the six facts that will help you understand exactly what is happening. Number one, what and where is Al-Aqsa Mosque? Al-Aqsa is the third most holy site in Islam. It's a huge open space with multiple indoor praying areas, but the entire compound is considered Al-Aqsa. Now Al-Aqsa is located in the old city of Jerusalem. The old city is basically a huge enclosed city, like a massive fort with only a handful of doors to get in and out. It has housing, marketplaces, alleyways, and religious spaces. The old city is made up of four quarters, the Christian quarter, the Jewish quarter, the Armenian quarter, and the Muslim quarter. Al-Aqsa is located in the Muslim quarter. Number two, who has control of Al-Aqsa Mosque? Under international law, this is supposed to be the map of the region. This is supposed to be Israel. This is supposed to be the Palestinian territories made up of West Bank and Gaza. And this is Jerusalem. Also under international law in the UN, Jerusalem is supposed to be broken up into East and West Jerusalem. West Jerusalem belonging to Israel and East Jerusalem belonging to the Palestinian territories. Al-Aqsa and the Muslim Quarter are in East Jerusalem. So legally, Palestine has ownership of Al-Aqsa. That's how it's supposed to be. But in 1967, Israel took control over East Jerusalem and the Palestinian territories, which includes Al-Aqsa, the Muslim Quarter, and all the neighborhoods outside the old city, like Sheikh Jarrah. So because Israel has control over East Jerusalem, Palestinians in the Palestinian territories don't have access to Al-Aqsa. They have to apply for a special permit from Israel to visit, and most of the time, Israel rejects the requests. I have relatives who were born and raised 30 minutes from Al-Aqsa, and they've literally never been. And this isn't just for Muslim Palestinians. Even Christian Palestinians in the West Bank don't have open access to their holy sites in the Christian quarters of Jerusalem. Israel illegally has full control over the old city and all the religious sites that are in it. Number three, what's happening at Al-Aqsa right now? It is the holy month of Ramadan for Muslims everywhere right now, and these last 10 days are extremely important, so Al-Aqsa is jam-packed with Palestinian Muslims praying together. Two nights ago, while Palestinians were praying at Al-Aqsa, Israeli police barged their way into the Al-Aqsa compound with guns and full protective gear and started shooting rubberized steel bullets and throwing stun grenades at the Palestinians who were praying at their mosque. They were just standing there praying. They also threw stun grenades at Palestinians in the marketplace who were also not doing anything. In this clip, the Israeli soldier literally threw the grenade at a Palestinian girl and a woman. Then they broke into the actual mosques, the indoor areas, punching the glass doors down, walking in with their shoes, which is not allowed in mosques. Then they continued to throw stun grenades inside the mosque, indoors, close the doors, and block it so that Palestinians can't get out. This isn't just a random mosque. This is one of the holiest sites in Islam and they literally treated it like it was trash. This left hundreds of Palestinians extremely injured. One man lost both of his eyes. So what does the Israeli police decide to do? Attack the medical tents. They threw stun grenades at Palestinian medics. So now the medics can barely take care of the injured people. And so now there's just hundreds of injured people just sitting there. The Palestinians are recording and posting all of this and they literally don't even care. So we're all seeing this and now Palestinians all over are furious. Number four, what's the connection between the Al-Aqsa attacks and Sheikh Jarrah? Now this is very important. As I said, Israel has illegal control over Al-Aqsa and East Jerusalem. So what Israel does is use the Al-Aqsa mosque as a way to control the Palestinian people. Let that sit for a second. Just think about that. Historically, anytime the Palestinians in any part of the country start to protest or rebel against the Israeli government, Israel attacks Al-Aqsa to send a message to the Palestinian people that if you keep protesting and rebelling, we're gonna take away Al-Aqsa from you. They know Al-Aqsa is our soft spot. It's our holy site, we have to protect it. They're basically indirectly saying, if you Palestinians behave, we'll let you pray at your mosque. Yeah, for sure. But if you act out, we're gonna attack it and take it away from you. They've been using Al-Aqsa as a tool to suppress Palestinian rights since 1967 when they illegally took control over Al-Aqsa 
East Jerusalem and the Palestinian territories. So what does that have to do with Sheikh Jarrah? Sheikh Jarrah is a Palestinian neighborhood in occupied East Jerusalem that's supposed to be Palestinian land, but Israel is forcing Palestinians to leave their homes so that Israeli settlers can move in. And as a result, hundreds of Palestinians have been protesting in Sheikh Jarrah, trying to physically protect the Palestinians who are about to get kicked out of their homes. And what does Israel do when Palestinians protest? They attack Al-Aqsa. That's what's happening now. That's what's always happened in the past. Al-Aqsa is being attacked by Israeli police right now because of the protests at Sheikh Jarrah to scare the Palestinians into not protesting. Number five, how are Palestinians responding to the Al-Aqsa attacks? Remember I said Palestinians from the Palestinian territories aren't allowed to freely visit Al-Aqsa without a permit from Israel? Well, now that the Palestinians from the West Bank are furious because of the Al-Aqsa attacks, this morning, a huge fleet of Palestinians from the West Bank started heading towards Al-Aqsa. The highways and streets were jam-packed with Palestinians on their way to protect and visit their mosque. But again, Israel doesn't allow them to freely visit the mosque because they have control over East Jerusalem. So to try and stop the Palestinians from entering, Israel blocked all the highways coming from the West Bank, preventing all the buses filled with Palestinians from entering. But the joke's on them because the Palestinians don't care. They jumped off the bus and started walking to the mosque on the side of the highway. So then there's this huge march of Palestinians trying to bypass the Israeli checkpoints to get to Al-Aqsa. Then the Palestinians from Jerusalem who can freely visit all got in their cars and went and picked up those who were marching to take them to Al-Aqsa. And beyond all that, now Palestinians aren't just protesting in Sheikh Jarrah. They're protesting all throughout Israel and the Palestinian territories. And finally, number six, what's gonna happen now? So we have these three things going on right now. Palestinians protesting at Sheikh Jarrah and now all over the country. We have Israeli police attacking Palestinian worshippers at Al-Aqsa and a huge march of Palestinians forcing their way to visit their holy mosque. Rightfully so. All we know is that Israel is not happy that Palestinians are rebelling. So I think a lot of Palestinians right now are mentally preparing for a very complex next few days. So now that you're pretty well versed in the illegal occupation of Palestine and what's happening right now, we can officially stop calling it a conflict or clash. The Palestinian-Israeli conflict. No, it is not a conflict. Conflict connotes a sort of symmetry of power which there is not. It is Israel's illegal occupation. It is the oppression of Palestinians. It is apartheid. It is stripping Palestinians of their human rights. It is ethnic cleansing. It is shooting innocent Palestinians while they're praying in their holy mosque. All of the above, yes. But conflict, no. It is, it is not that. If you watch footage of what's happening at Al-Aqsa or Sheikh Jarrah right now, who has the guns? Cause it's not the Palestinians, that's for sure. So you tell me who has the power here. So please, please help spread the word of what Israel is doing to the Palestinian people. All resources and footage and posts are saved on my highlights. Be sure to follow Muna and Muhammad Al-Kurd who are Palestinians living in Sheikh Jarrah. They're posting live footage every day of what's happening there. Please keep the Palestinian people in your prayers. Ooh, ya ahl Palestine, ya shaabi, ya aghla, aghla nasi, ihna an jad min jowul qalb, min jowul ruh. Ihna kulna ma'kum u rah nzal ma'kum. الله يعطيكم القوة والعافية والله العظيم يريتني معكم وقدرت أوقف جمكم بس توكلنا على الله الله يحميكم يا حبايب يا أغلى أغلى الحبايب السلام عليكم